my philosophy on teaching how to program is that I start by giving examples that you modify. And this is called scaffolding. You're going to get less and less support with each assignment throughout the semester because by the mid middle of the semester, you should be doing all of the coding by yourself. But it can be really overwhelming when you first start programming. So sometimes I'm going to give you start files that you modify as you learn how to make things work. This exercise is to teach you to how to connect the pages or the files in different folders because it can be a little complicated and it's something you probably haven't done before. You may or may not have previously downloaded a zip file. Zip files are used to compress and take all of the files from a website and site and put them into one spot. We've been creating and uploading them to the server if you're using the cPanel way of uploading as opposed to um, Pro Deployer. But downloading we haven't done yet. So I have a start file for you, and it's connections.zip. You're going to click the download button. And then you should save it. I have. I've already practiced, so it's going directly to my Web 105 folder. But if you need to navigate to your desktop, to your Web 105 folder, then do that and save. Now, once you've saved, you're not done. So I'm going to open up my Web 105 folder. Here we go. And you can see it has the zip symbol across the folder. So I can choose to extract all. And it will let me extract it into my Web 105 folder. And I can look and I can see that I've got everything in here. All right. So now I don't need that zip folder anymore. And if I go to my Visual Studio Code window, you can see my connections folder is here with an index with a folder with pages, with images, and with CSS already loaded for you. This should help make it significantly easier because all we're worried about in this assignment is you writing the code that connects the pages. We're not concerned with you writing all the rest of the code. I want you to focus on learning about writing the code to connect the pages, and you'll start doing that in the next video.